Uh, Granny Sadler, I believe that's our ring. I don't get long, I believe you're right. I'll see. Hello, jot him down, store. This is Lum and Abner. And now, let's see what's going on down in Pine Ridge. Well, the more Lum tries to help Abner out of his marital troubles, the deeper Abner gets in. Lum's attempt to make Sister Simpson think that he was the one involved with Annabelle Kearney and not Abner failed because he forgot to sign a certain love note, and hence the town gossips thought the note was from Abner. However, Lum has a new direct plan to straighten things out in the Peabody family, and as we look in on the little community today, we find Lum and Abner walking along the street in the late evening. They're heading for Abner's house. Listen. Well, now, Lom, it ain't no use coming over here to the place. Elizabeth's got that door locked tighter than a drum, I can tell you that. Well, then you'll just have to break down the door then, Abner. Fact is, that's what I was aiming on having you do anyway. Break down the door? Yes, sir. That'll do more good towards p- patching up this trouble twixt you and Elizabeth than there one thing you could do. Well, I don't understand how that do any good. Well, to be honest, I don't exactly understand it myself, Abner, but... In might and I ever moving picture I ever seen, that's how the feller final wins a girl. By breaking down the door? Yes, sir. Huh. As soon as he does that, why, she falls in his arms and the picture's over and you find your wife's shoes and take your dishes and go home. Yeah, well, now that you mention it, I believe I have saw that happen in moving pictures, but I still don't think it'll work for me, though, long. Well, why wouldn't it? It's the same situation. It's the way all these things work out. Boy meets girl, boy loses girl, boy breaks down door. Just a minute. Now, who's this boy we're going to get to do all this? Cedric? No, no, I ain't talking about Cedric. I'm talking Well, about... I believe Cedric could be the one, Lom. He's good and strong. He could splinter that door in no time at all. Yeah, but we ain't going to get Cedric for this. Well, what boy are we going to get then? We ain't getting no boy. You're the one that's going to do it. Oh, no, no, I believe your other idea's better, Lom, for... If we get a boy to break the door, why, Elizabeth will blame it on to him. But if I do it, why, she'll be so hopping mad at me, I never will get back in the house. Oh, yes, she will. You'll be surprised how good this works. It's the romantics thing to do. Romantics? Yeah, and at a time like this, a woman's a heap more interested in romantics than she is in a few little old pieces of wood in the door. She is, huh? Yeah, it shows her how much you'll go through to get her to take you back again. Mm, well, maybe you're right. I still think it'd be better to get a boy to do it, though. No, it wouldn't. I don't know. I know what I'm talking about. Mom? Yeah? I'm hungry. Hungry? Yes, sir. Somehow that restaurant food I've been eating the last few days down there at Luke Spears don't seem to satisfy me like Elizabeth's cooking does. Well, natural. That's the reason I want you to make up so we can go back home here. Doggies walking along here just reminds me all them nights I went home to supper. And this is a day Elizabeth always fixes my favorite dish, too. Corned beef. Corned beef, huh? Oh, yeah, I, doggy, that was sure good, the way she used to fix it. Sounds good. I can just see a plate of it sitting there on the supper table. Well, now, wait a minute, Abner. Don't start getting so cinnamon over a thing like that. Besides, you're making me hungry, too. This is the day she always fixed it. Never missed. Well, after you get in the house tonight and her and you make up with one another, I bound you she'll run right out to the kitchen and make up a thousand or a hundred pounds of corned beef for you. Well, it'll take longer than that to cook it, old Lom. She couldn't get it ready for me tonight. Well, maybe she's already cooked some. Just because she's in the habit of it, you know. Yeah. I the main thing it. to worry about now is getting this misunderstanding twixt her and you straightened out. Yeah, I reckon so. Come on, walk faster, Abner. What are you hanging back for her? I don't know. I just don't believe this is don't going to do no good, Lum. Why, yes, it will. It'll do a lot of good. No, oh, no, I'm afraid it won't. I know we can break in the house all right, but after I get in, why, I just know I won't be able to explain nothing to Elizabeth. You know, she got that note that Sister Simpson found, the one that was addressed to Annabelle Kearney. Well, don't worry about that note. You never actual sent that. Well, no, but it was in a jot and down store envelope, and that looks awful bad for me. Well, you just let me worry about that note. 
The main reason I'm coming along now with you is to explain to Elizabeth about that. Well, now, what can you tell her to make any difference or convince her that I'm innocent? Listen, Abner, I'll tell you something if you'll promise not to get mad at me before I get through telling you the whole thing. Well, I won't get mad. Well, be sure you don't. You see, I was the one that actually sent that note. You? You sent it? Now, wait a minute, Abner. Don't look at me that way. Uh-huh. I'll explain the rest of it to you. I just done it to help you out. Help me out? Yes, sir. Why, well, that note's the thing that got me locked out of my own place. I know, but that was just on account of my plan never worked out exactly right. You see, I never bothered to sign my name to the note, because I figured that when Sister Simpson seen the jot em down story envelope, well, right away she'd know it come from me. Well, yeah, but I'm as much a part of that store as you are, Long. Yeah, I know, I know. That's where I slipped up a little. You sure did. I don't know now how come it overlooked that, but anyways, I- I'm going to explain the whole thing to Elizabeth. And what if she don't believe you, though? Think she's got to believe me. I'll talk till I'm black and white in the face. I'll convince her some way. I know I can. Well, when did you start falling in love with Annabelle Kearney? In love with Annabelle? Why, I ain't in love with her. Well, what are you doing sending her them love notes for her, then? Well, I never actually sent none to her. I, I just had Mousy drop that note near the boarding house where Sister Simpson could find it, that's all. I wanted to get a rumor started that it was me and not you that was seeing Annabelle. I weren't seeing Annabelle. I know you wasn't, but Sister Simpson thought you was, and she was spreading the gossip around. Oh. So I just done this to protect you. Well, well, bless your heart, Mom. And you done that just for me. Yeah, but it weren't nothing, hardly. Mom. Hmm. Yeah? I'm hungry. Well, just forget that for a minute now, because here's your house. you got a door to break down before you can sit down and eat. Yeah, well, now, are you sure now this idea is going to work out all right? Of course it will. Come on, let's turn in here. I'm going up on the porch. I don't get it. It's awful dark around here. Elizabeth and little Pearl must have went to bed early. Well, maybe, maybe we ought to come back in the morning and do this. No, no, no. Now's the time. It's a heap more romantic at night this way. It is, huh? Why, well, sure. Uh, careful, them poor steps are long. Yeah. One of them boards is loose. Maybe Beth's been after me to fix that for the last six or seven years. I ought to have did it, too. All right. Come on up here to the door now. Well, maybe I ought to get a hammer and fix that step right now. No, no, now that can wait. Put your shoulder to the door there. See if you can break it in. Yeah, all right. No, can't do it. Well, of course not. Not that way. Don't be so gentle. Hit it hard. Yeah, but that's liable to wake Elizabeth up too but long. Of course it will. That's what you want to do. Huh? How else is she going to know what you're trying to do here? Oh, that's right. That's right, Aunt. Well, I dog it. I'll hit her one time here. I'll bust it in. <laughs> Mom, I don't believe I can ever break this thing. That's too solid. Wait a minute. I believe you ought to have a chair. A chair? Yeah. Well, here, wait a minute. That ain't the trouble. I can reach the door all right. I'm tall enough for that. I just ain't got strength enough to break it in. I don't mean stand on the chair. I mean use it to batter what? the door down with. Huh? Beat the door down with the chair. Oh, oh, oh. The way oh. I've seen them fellers in the moving pictures do it. Yeah, yeah, I saw them do that too. Yeah, yeah that's the thing to do. Get a chair. Yeah, well, I don't get wait just a minute. I'll go inside and get one here. Now, what kind of a chair do you think is going to be best, Lon? Oh, it don't matter much. Just so it's big and heavy. One that won't break too easy. Yeah, all right. If you could, if you could carry that divan, that would do. Oh, that thing's too heavy. Elizabeth can't hardly carry that out and do house to clean in there in the spring. Don't be this dark in here. Yeah. Well, turn on the light there. Well, I don't want to wake Elizabeth, Lon. I told you once, it don't matter if you do wake her oh, up. Oh, oh, What's the matter? I don't... I just found the chair. Oh, well, good, good. Come on, let's get it on outside now and start battering down. Or wait a minute. What's the matter with us? Huh? We don't need to break in here. We don't. That's what we come over here for. Yeah, but we're already inside. Huh? The door weren't even locked at all. I know that that's right, ain't it? My goodness, if that ain't a good or no <laughs> much, trying to break through an open door. <laughs> I do know. <laughs> I don't get wait a minute long. Huh? You don't reckon that means that Elizabeth has forgiven me and made up with me? I mean, her leaving the door unlocked this way. She's had it locked, wouldn't let me come in the house. I hadn't thought about that. 
<laughs> Granny, that wouldn't be a bit surprised, Amber. Well, bless her heart. Why don't you call her and see? Yeah. yeah. I'll turn the light on. Yeah, yeah, turn it on. I don't give this the happiest minute of my life. Elizabeth! Elizabeth, honey! It's me! <laughs> Elizabeth! It's me, Abner. Abner Peabody, her husband. Elizabeth! She might be hiding around here somewhere, just to Joyce, Abner. <laughs> just about what she's doing, bless her heart. Well, that shows she's in a good humor. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Elizabeth, where are you hiding now? Come on out here, honey. Elizabeth! I know where you are. You might as well come on out. Yeah, well, she's more than likely to jump out and surprise you. Elizabeth! Elizabeth! All out. She's in free. Wait a minute, Aaron. What's this here on the table? Huh? Looks like a note addressed to you. To me? What does it say? Yeah, let's see here. It says, uh, Abner. I am sorry that things have turned out the way they have. But since they have, I feel the only right thing for me to do is take little Pearl and go away somewhere. Go away? Goodbye, Abner. Yours truly, Elizabeth. Oh, well, what? she's went away and left me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's a postscript here. Huh? P.S. There is some cold sliced corned beef for you in the icebox. Well, did you hear that, Abner? Corned beef. You get your corned beef after all. <laughs> Mom. Uh, yeah. I ain't hungry no more. <laughs>